Uh, hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course. So, today we are going forward and discussing the lecture 22. So, in the previous lecture, uh, we have discussed about the Gauss elimination MATLAB code. So, today we will discuss about the next method and that is called LU LU decomposition or factorization. So, LU decomposition. Uh, so, in this case, what we are going to do? I have a matrix. So, that is n cross n matrix. Now, I am going to decompose this matter or factorize this matrix into the LU form. So, where L is my lower triangular matrix and this U is upper triangular matrix. So, there are different ways to do the LU decomposition. So, I am going to start with the first one and that is based on Gauss elimination. So, LU decomposition based on Gauss elimination. So, in the Gauss elimination we know that, so let us, uh, I will take a 3 by 3 matrix. So, in the 3 by 3 matrix, suppose I take uh, this A 1 1, A 1 2, A 1 3, A 2 1, A 2 2, So, this is my matrix and then at the step 1 in the Gauss elimination, I will make this element 0 and this element 0. So, this will make with the help of this one. So, this in this case what I will do that I take a matrix L, I call it 1 because I am taking this for step 1, lower triangular matrix with 1 1 as a diagonal element. 0, 0, 0 and here I am using my multipliers. So, m 2 1, m 3 1 and this one I am taking 0. So, this one this uh, is the lower triangular matrix with the multiplier m 2 1 and m 3 1. So, let us see what will happen. So, this is my A. So, suppose I pre multiply L 1 with A. So, let us see what will happen. So, this is 1 0 0 m 2 1 1 0 m 3 1 0 1 and you know that this is the multiplier m 2 1 is what? So, m 2 1 multiplier is minus a 1 1 a 2 1 m 3 1 multiplier is minus a 3 1 a 1 1 in some books they do not take this negative sign. So, in that case I can make this m 2 as a 2 1 by a 1 1 and then they will take the negative subtract this from the from this uh, first row to make it 0, but I, here I use the negative sign and I, I will add to the first row to make this one 0. So, that both type of things can be taken. So, this is my multiplier. So, I will take the multiplier and then I multiply this by the matrix. A 2 1, A 2 2, A 3 1, 3 2, 3 3 and then if I multiply the first row, so what I will get? I will get only A 1 1, then I will multiply the second, so I will get A 1 2 and this is A 1 3. So, suppose I get these values, I will make little bit bigger one. So, A 1 1, a 1 2 and a 1 3. Now, if I multiply this first column with this second row, so what I will get? I will get m 2 1 a 1 1 plus a 2 1. Then I am doing this one for the second row, so it will be a 1 2 
m21 plus a22 then m21 a13 plus a23 so it is next will be m31 a11 this one plus a31 then m31 a12 and then plus a32 m31 a13 plus a33 so from here you can see that what is this i am multiplying the first row with the multiplier whatever the multiplier and adding to this so this part will be zero and this will be zero okay and then what i am doing here i am multiplying this one with the multiplier and adding to the second one so this will be the new value it will come this is the new value the new value and new value so from here you can see that after first step i am getting whatever the matrix i am getting is a11 a12 a13 0 0 and then a22 a23 a32 and a33 i can write as 1 1 here so this is same as this one so i am getting the new values after the step 1 so this is the new values i am getting so that is my the matrix after the step completion of the step 1 so based on this one i can say that because now i am able to make this and this zero now i have to make this zero so based on this one i can say that i will take my l2 now so l2 what will the l2 it is 1 1 1 0 0 0 and now in this case it will be 0 0 because i want only multiply here so i will write it m32 so m32 multiplier i will take to make this element 0 and based on this one i will get the new matrix so from here i can say that first i am putting l1 a so whatever the matrix i am getting then i am pre melting by a2 and once i do this one i will get my u that is my upper triangular matrix so based on this one i can say that l2 l1 a is equal to u now i know that product of the uh, lower triangular matrix is again the lower triangular matrix and in this case the diagonal elements are 1 1 so both the cases so this matrix are non singular so i can take the inverse so based on this one i can write a is equal to inverse u this can be written as l1 inverse l2 inverse and i know that the inverse of a lower triangular matrix is also a lower triangular for this also so in this case if you see from here so my l1 is this 1 0 0 and this is m 2 1 1 0 m 3 1 0 1 and i want to find its inverse l inverse so l inverse will be what because the determinant is 1 only so that will be equal to the adjoint of l 1 divided by determinant so determinant that is already 1 so it will be same as the adjoint of this one l1 and what is the adjoint of l1 so if i take this one suppose i take a 2 by 2 matrix so 1 1 0 m so this is my l1 so the i know that the adjoint of l1 will be i will put the cofactor of this so what is the cofactor of this is 1 1 what is the cofactor of 0 so it is m so plus minus so it is minus m 
and this is 0 and 1 and then I will take transpose. So, this will be equal to 1 1 minus m 0. So, just you, if you see this one the L inverse is just the same one except the sign is changing at this value. So, if you see this one it will be same as 1 0 0 1 minus m 2 1 1 0 minus m 3 1 0 1. So, just the inverse will be same just the sign will change here. So, from based on this one I can say that this is my A and my L 1 will be 1 0 0 minus m 2 1 1 0 minus m 3 1 0 1. So, that is my L 1 inverse and similarly I can find the L 2 inverse. So, that will be 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 minus m 3 2 1 and then the upper triangular matrix. So, this is the lower triangular matrix I will call it L and this is my upper triangular matrix and that is A. So, based on this one I can say that A is equal to L u. So, I am able to reduce my matrix A into the lower triangular into the upper triangular matrix. So, once I am able to find this value then how I can solve this one. So, one time once I get this so I can say that my A is equal to L u. Now, my system was A x is equal to B. So, based on this one I will find the value L u x is equal to B. Now, from here I can write my u x is equal to B. So, let my u x is equal to is equal to some y. So, from here I can say that L of y will be B. So, I know the value of L, I know the value of B, I will guide, first I will find the value of y. So, this value of y will be coming from forward substitution. because it is a lower triangular matrix. So, once I get the value of y, I will put the value of y and then I will use the backward substitution. So, now based on the forward substitution and the backward substitution, I am able to solve my system and then I will get the solution. So, x is my solution. So, this is we have done with the help of uh, Gauss elimination method that is the LU decomposition. So, the next one is the second one is crowds. So, in this case what we what we are going to do I am going to reduce matrix A into the LU decomposition form. So, where I am taking my L as 1 1 1 0 0 0 suppose I take 3 by 3 matrix. So, L I am taking 2 1 L 3 1 L 3 2 into U I am taking as U 1 1 U 2 2 U 3 3 let I am take the 3 by 3 matrix U 1 2 U 1 3 and U 2 3 and all other matter. So, in this case I have 3 elements unknowns here and 6 unknown here. So, from here I have 9 unknowns and A is a 3 by 3 matrix. So, in this case also 9 values. So, now if I compare this 2 matrices. So, A is equal to L u so, then it should be same as component wise each element of the matrix should be same. So, based on this one I will get 9 equations. So, I will get system of 9 equations and then I can solve this one to find the value of so, which can be solved. So, how will solve this one? So, let us uh, uh, see this one. So, I just uh, take 3 by 3 matrix and then it will be more clear. So, the, uh, I will take my A as A 1 1, 
a 1 2 a 1 3 So, this is equal to 1 0 0 L 2 1 1 0 L 3 1 L 3 2 1 into U 1 1 U 1 2 U 3 3. Now, the first step is to find the value of this first row u 1 1, u 1 2, u 1 3. So, step 1. So, if I multiply this matrix with the first row, so I will deal only with the first row all the matrix. So, what I will get? I will get u 1 1. So, that should be equal to a 1 1, u 1 2 that should be equal to a 1 2, u 1 3 that is equal to a 1 3. So, from here I am able to find the value of u 1, u 2, u 3. So, this is my step 1. Now, step 2. So, step 2 means I am going to use my second row because the first row of this is known to me now. So, this is I am able to solve. Now, I will use this to find out L 2 1, L 2 2 and L 2 3. So, let us see how. So, I will multiply this first column with second rows, I will get L 2 1 U 1 1 right. So, that should be equal to and other three things are 0. So, that should be equal to A 2 1. So, based on this one I can say that my L 2 1 should be equal to A 2 1 divided by U 1 1 and u 1 1 is already known to me. So, that will be equal to a 2 1 divided by a 1 1 provided a 1 1 is not equal to 0. So, now it is giving me the value of l 2 1. Now, based on this one, now I will uh, do the multiplication of the second column with the second row. So, I will get a 1 2 l 2 1 plus u 2 2 should be equal to a 2 2. So, based on this one I can say because this is known to me this is all thing you know. So, I from here my u 2 2 will be a 2 2 minus l 2 1 u 1 2. So, that is giving me the value of 2 2. So, I should keep the uh, elements in this order so that I can write 2 1 1 2. So, it means 2 2. So, that gives me the value of q 2 2. So, now from here you can see that I am able to find the value of this and this element. So, now I will use the third one. So, this is my step number 2. Now, I will get the step 3. So, in the step 3 I will use the third row with the all this one. So, I will get from here. So, my first will be L 3 1 U 1 1. So, that should be equal to A 3 1. And from here I can say that my L 3 1 is equal to A 3 1 by U 1 1 provided U 1 1 is not equal to 0. Then I will get L 3 1 U 1 2 plus L 3 2 u 2 2 that should be equal to a 3 2. So, once so based on this one now I want to find u 2 2 this is already known to me u 2 2 is already known to me where the u 2 2 this one. So, now I want to find the value of this one. So, from here I can write l 3 2 will be equal to a 3 2. So, that is already known to me minus L 3 1 U 1 2 divided by U 2 2 because U 2 2 is already known from the step number 2. 
So, based on this one I am able to find provided u 2 2 is not equal to 0. So, this is there and in the la last step. So, from the last step I will get L 3 1 u 1 3 plus L 3 2 u 2 3 plus u 3 3 and that should be equal to a 3 3. Now, from here I will find the value of u 3 3 will be a 3 3 minus L 3 1 u 1 3 plus L 3 2 u 2 3. So, this is all the values are already known to me L 3 1 is there. So, L 3 1 I am just found u 1 3 is already known to me L 3 2 this one u 2 3. Okay, so, I just finished the two steps I will do the third step also. So, in this one it will give you L 2 1 u 1 3 plus u 2 3. So, that should be equal to a 2 3. So, from here I will get the value of u 2 3. So, u 2 3 will be a 2 3 minus L 2 1 u 1 3. So, that is the way I can find the value of u. So, based on this one I can find uh, put the value of u 1 2 3 here and then I will get the value of u 3 3. So, this is the way I can find all the values provided because in some places I have put the condition that this should not be equal to 0, this should not be equal to 0. So, that is the condition. So, based on this one now we can write the algorithm for this. So, what is the algorithm for a crowds method? So, this is the algorithm that A is my n cross n matrix then step 1 my L i i is equal to 1 for i 1 2 n and my u 1 j they that are same as a 1 j where j is from 1 to when. So, this is the first step. Then for, for ith row, so whatever the row I am taking, so i is basically it is 2, 3, n. So, in the any ith row I am talking about, my L i j will be equal to a i j minus summation I can take L i k. So, L i k multiplied by u k j where k is moving from 1 to j minus 1 and then dividing by. So, this is L you can see that this is the L's. I am finding. So, I am dividing by always u j j. So, this will be equal to divided by u j j provided my u j is not equal to 0. And then I can find the value of u i j. So, u i j is no division by any number. So, in this case it is a i j minus summation k from 1 to i minus 1 l i k u k j and then I am divide there is no division in this case. So, because if you see that u 3 3. So, it is a 3 3 minus l 3 1. So, so l so k I am taking from 1 to i minus 1. So, suppose I take i is equal to 3 in this case. So, k will be 1 to 2. So, it is L 3 1 L 3 1 u 1 3 right because I am taking j is also 3 plus L 3 2 u 3. So, that is the 
So, this is the algorithm to find out the solution using the crowds methods. Okay, so, this is true for all j So, for it is for j is equal to i i plus 1 n. So, this is true for all j from i to i plus 1 and up to n. So, that is the algorithm for using the crowds methods. Now, the problem is in the crowds method as we have seen what will happen if my a 1 1 is 0. So, let us uh, take one example, I take a matrix 4 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 5 1 2 6. So, this is my matrix and I will uh, apply the crowds method for this one. So, L 2 1 1 0, L 3 1, L 3 2 1 and this is my U 1 1, U 1 2, U 1 3. So, in this case my U 1 1 is 4, U 1 2 is 3, u 1 3 is minus 1. So, that is a step 1. So, after that step 2. So, step 2 gives me that value of uh, L 2 1 u 1 1. So, I will multiply this one. So, that is equal to minus 2. So, L 2 1 gives me minus 2 by 4. So, it is uh, minus half. Then I will find the value L 2 1 u 1 2 plus u 2 2. So, that is equal to minus 4. So, that gives me the value of u 2 2 and that is minus 5 by 2. Now, the last one is L 2 1 u 1 3 plus u 2 3. So, that is equal to 5. So, that gives me the value of u 2 3 and that is coming 9 by 2. So, this is I have done. Now, in the step 3, I will find the value. So, L 3 1 u 1 1 is equal to 1. So, that gives me my value of L 3 1 is equal to 1 by 4. <coughs> and if you do the calculation more calculation, then you will see that L 3 2 is coming minus half and is coming 17 by 2. So, based on this one, we are able to find the L. So, L is coming <coughs> 1 0 0 minus 0 0.510, 0.25 0 0.25 minus 0 0.51. So, this is my L and u is coming 4 3 minus 1, 0 minus 2.5, 4.5, 0, 0, 8.5. So, that is my LU decomposition using the crowds method. So, we will stop uh, here today and uh, in the next lecture, we will show some results or some cases when the crowds method is not applicable and then we will go further. So, thanks for watching, uh, thanks very much.